So with more and more info coming out on Spider-Man Far From Home, let's talk about the latest details, which are, um, I think they're going to divide fans very much. So getting right into this, let's talk about Spider-Man and Europe. So according to reports, Spider-Man is actually famous right now, and he's going to Europe with friends on a tour. And he prefers to actually leave the costume we see behind in New York. When he actually arrives in Venice, he is approached by the one and only Nick Fury, who wants to recruit him on a secret mission. This mission is to defeat a giant villain who's made of stone, and water. Now obviously stone and water I think you guys can kind of try to gather who that is. I'm gonna guess this is the uh, you know Hydro Man version that we've talked about before who Daily Spider-Man on Instagram was the first one to break the news that we were gonna see Molten Man and actually Hydro Man in this movie. So I have no doubt that this is probably true and that this is why Nick Fury approaches Spider-Man. On top of this, let's talk about something that's gonna be very controversial. So according to sources, we actually find out that Peter is unaware of Aunt May and Happy Hogan having an affair. So this is the one I think that's gonna um, upset a lot of people. You know, Aunt May clearly is different in this universe. This isn't the Aunt May we know. She's much younger looking, you know, and um, not so, uh, like old grandma looking style like we're so used to, right? So I've already seen a bunch of people online very upset at it. And honestly, I'll, I have to wait and see how this plays out. It could honestly be pretty good. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe she feels like she can't do anything and Peter's just away so far. You know, Happy's just kind of there to comfort her. We don't know the results of what happens during, you know, the time between this film and Avengers 4. So maybe there's like two years have gone by or a year or something. Maybe Peter was missing and maybe Happy was there for her, right? So we don't know. So I'm going to reserve judgment on this till we know more and we know exactly how this plays out. And to finish it all off, uh, Jake Hall officially said that Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. Agreed. <laughs> 